Hey, what's up guys? Adam here, giving you guys an updated video to my Hackintosh PC. Now, as you guys know, around September last year, I went ahead and upgraded my PC uh, to this PC behind me, since, simply because the one I had before decided to go ahead and give up the ghost, and it was starting to get uh, pretty starting to get in a few years, and I had it for about four and a half years. It served me well, but I thought it was definitely time for an upgrade. So that's the, the, the new PC sitting behind me. And if you haven't seen the new, if you haven't seen the video for that PC, that'll be the very first link in the description down below. That's basically me covering all the parts and pretty much how I went ahead and set up that PC. Now, moving on now, I actually had plans to go ahead and dual boot Windows and OS X on this PC. And up until now, it's been running really, really well. I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the benchmarks within a few minutes, but so far, this video, this PC has been going really strong. Now, just a refresher about what specs are in the PC, if you haven't gone ahead and clicked on that video already, uh, they're gonna be on screen, as you can see here. Now, the actual processor is the i7 520K, it's a six core processor, and it runs at 3.3 gigahertz. I also have the NVIDIA GTX 980 Ti graphics card uh, with six gigabytes of video RAM. I also have 30 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM uh, within the PC as well. And just to go ahead and cover some of the actual stories that I use, I have one SSD from um, SanDisk and also have three Seagate hard drives, one of which is a hybrid hard drive that is currently running Yosemite. So the first benchmark test that I went ahead and actually did on this PC uh, was actually on the Nova Bench. Now the issue with some of these Geekbench is pretty much one of the major disadvantages of actually running the OS X on this PC anyway, is that when I tried to go ahead and run Nova Bench, for example, uh, even in the actual pending stage where it go ahead and goes ahead and shows you all of the specs that you're running on the PC, uh, for some reason it picks up that my RAM is DDR3 and not DDR4 and then when the test actually does carry out I do not get a reading for my CPU so I'm actually losing points there it just gives me a reading of zero and it registers the, the actual RAM as DDR3 as opposed to DDR4 so the points are going to be a lot lower and as you can see the score is pretty much not representative of my actual PC and our PCs are actually uh, around about this same specification as a scoring between 1400 and 1600 yet mine is scoring around 300 and 400 so I'm not quite sure what's really going on with that it's not really reading really my CPU and it's not really reading the RAM uh, as far as I'd like to and it's just something about the graphics card and I mean, the graphics card uh, when it comes to hacking dash is always normally a problem so I'm not too surprised about how it's performed with Nova Bench so I'll still I thought I'd still go ahead and show you the test results and maybe you guys maybe have an idea for why it's pretty much doing that but as far as, far as I know uh, it's not really affected the actual performance of the PC and it seems to be everything seems to be running perfectly fine I'm not actually seeing a decrease in performance um, it's actually running if not better on uh, your cemetery than it is on Windows 10 so I can't really see what the issue is there uh, so apart from that on Novabench I've actually also done some open CL tests as well as you can see mainly for the graphics card uh, the frame rates I'm kind of getting at this stage now are around about 57.5 FPS and that's pretty much okay because actually running uh, three displays on this uh, monitor on this PC I'm running two 2560 by 1440p panels and one 1080p panel at the top so those uh, actual readings are pretty really strong actually so I'm not really really concerned about those so as someone who was an avid user of just simply using Windows I never really thought I'd actually be like slowly as I pull as I approached around to Christmas time I was kind of dual booting Windows and Mac OS at the same time and slowly slowly but surely I've been actually pulling away from Windows and mainly been booting up uh, to OS X uh, Yosemite so that's quite a change for me and as I mentioned before as someone who's been an avid Windows user never really saw myself actually doing that but I just find the whole uh, interface and architecture of uh, Mac OS just a lot smoother especially when it comes to video editing now as you know before I tended to use Sony Vegas and I moved to Adobe Premiere on Windows I was able to take advantage of the CUDA core especially on Windows and sort of as well on Yosemite but for some reason the actual rendering speeds are a lot quicker on Final Cut Pro now Final Cut Pro I've actually been using now for the past four weeks and it is it is a really really smooth video video editing software I mean the rendering time is a lot quicker, uh, the playback time is a lot quicker, everything just seems so much smoother. You can really tell that this actual uh, Final Cut Pro, the video editing software, has actually been utilized to actually run a really, really well uh, on, on the macOS platform. And I'm also not using Audacity as much. I've actually switched over to start using uh, Logic Pro X as a, to try and get my audio off my video. So I'm actually finding that a real treat as well. So I've actually strayed away more from using my Windows-based platforms like Sony Vegas, for example, and more of Audacity. And I'm starting to use things like Final Cut and Logic Pro to go ahead and do my audio production and my video production uh, when it comes to editing. So that's something, that's a new move for me as well because I started to use uh, Premiere on uh, the macOS 
platform and it was running okay i mean it was running you know as good if not even slightly better uh, than it was on windows 10 but final cut just seems to be outpacing uh, both runs on windows uh, and on mac os as well in terms of premiere it just seems to be running a lot smooth so so far and i'm i'm so good i've been using final cut pro in the last four weeks to go ahead and edit my videos so that's been a, a pretty good uh, it's been a new learning curve for me especially when it comes to video editing software and I'm definitely going to keep continuing using Final Cut Pro. I mean, the plugin seems to be really good so far. So I'm going to go ahead and keep using that uh, as my daily video editing software on the macOS platform. So all numbers aside, I'm definitely impressed with how OS X is just running in general on this PC. I mean, everything is just a lot smoother to work with uh, in comparison with Windows. Now, of course, I'm not going to completely stop using Windows. I mainly use Windows when I'm doing any sort of programming. But when it comes to all my video and content creation, pretty much all of that now I'm actually doing on Mac OS or on, on the OS X Yosemite platform. And I'm really, really enjoying it. And that is pretty much my final thoughts as well as my update for how OS X is running on this PC. Anyway guys, it's been Adam here. Thank you for watching. Take care and of course, I'll see you guys in the next tech video. Bye for now.